Hello, all of my sleepy bears! Welcome back to the final episode of DuckTales. Uh, it's been a while. It's been, uh, you know, 14 days. Uh, completely unintentional. I uh, just had a lot of stuff going on, as well as just lots of, like, thunderstorms and such. So that, that's why it's been a little, uh, a little silent. And, of course, the day that I'm like, hey, I'm gonna make a really quick video about why I haven't been uploading. And that's when I'm like, you know what, let's just go ahead and do this, why not? So, we are currently just going through here, and we're just we're just trying to get to the end of the level, because the first time that we did this, we weren't really able to. Here's a little secret over here, I don't know if y'all know about this. I didn't even know about this. I decided to give it a good shot. Yeah, if you just go over here, then we got some some extras, uh, extra food and treasure and stuff. Uh, we can also go up here, and we find an additional secret. Uh, yeah, we got, we got double secretage. Get double secrets is se secrets, double secrets. Not a whole lot's been going on with me, or should I say, way too much has been going on with me. I uh, just been nothing new. Y'all know about this. Just working a lot, and I just have some stuff planned. Uh, not like video stuff planned, just specific like life stuff planned, which has caused me to be like, and here we go. So <laughs> again, n nothing like amazing, just life stuff going on about how I'm trying to move very soon and once I get set into like the new place and everything is all good to go then that the videos will be coming out a lot more frequently uh, it's just majorly just been a lot of spending the weekends doing stuff and the like, cleaning stuff in order to like make stuff look good and livable so that's the main reason as to why things haven't really been happening unfortunately however I'm glad I was able to at least get this and the other video out and just a little update video so that way uh, for the second half of September you won't be like, oh, where is he? Where did he go? You'll be like, oh, okay, he's doing stuff. However, with that being said, along with the final episode of DuckTales, I will also be getting out the final episode of Sonic 3 and Knuckles if you are up to date on that as well. And if not, then now you have something to binge. I say that like I didn't just make, uh, like I say like I didn't just subscribe to a bunch of uh, streaming services. Uh, just because there's, there's something to watch in, like, each of them, which I really hate. Because I'm like, uh, I don't, I don't want to have 15 subscription services, I just want, like, one or two. But here I am, like, you know what, Let, let's just, let's just get them all so I can binge stuff that I want to. Because it's not just me, it's my boyfriend as well. He wants to see, like, all the, the real housewives of everything. Uh, we, we started getting hooked on uh, The Weakest Link. There's also the, uh, you know, I, I think actually what we're going to do is, once I finish Evil, we're probably going to just go ahead and cancel Paramount. And then we're just going to stick with Peacock so we can binge uh, The Real Housewives as well as um, Superstore. Because he works at a place similar to Superstore, as I'm sure most people do. So... For him to see a show where people do random stuff, he, he really enjoys it. Okay, so, pay 300,000 to go through here. A, yes, B, no. I'm not sure which button I hit. I'm just gonna assume it was the right button. And if not, then, yeah, I, again, I don't know if I hit the right button or not, so I just, like, take, like, the, kind of roundabout way-ish. Let's go ahead and see. After we keep avoiding this enemy here. Because, why wouldn't we? And... There we go. Got it just in time. And here's... Huey, Louie, Dewey, or whatever they are. Uh, they're saying that uh, he's giving us a power-up so that we can, like, try to... Oh, that's the next game. Sorry, they include DuckTales 1 and 2 in here, and after I played through DuckTales 1, I went through and played DuckTales 2, and... And that one, you get upgrades for your cane, which is cool, but I feel like I did not get the best ending, so I just been like, eh, that doesn't really matter. Whack. 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 Yes, we have, we have lots of stuff coming up. Uh, there's a new game coming out in October that I really want to play. Uh, there's Bayonetta 3 coming out soon. There's Sonic Frontiers coming out soon. Just... Good games. Good games that I cannot wait to go through. I know that I, like, just very recently did the entire Sonic Origins collection, so I'm like, hey, why not? 
But I think what I'm really going to do is I'm probably going to play, like, Sonic Frontiers just, like, a little bit. Uh, of, like, on my own. Because I know it's supposed to be, like, an open world game. And I'm not too fond of open world games, but maybe Sonic will convince me. Maybe Sonic will be the one that'll, like, change my mind. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that, like... I, I, I just wake up and go to work, and then, like, get off work, eat dinner, and then go to bed, and, like, the days go by so fast. Especially so because, like, I just kind of, like, fall into, like, a zen at my work where I just, like, sit down, and then, like, the time just flies. I deal with customers. Haha, <laughs> if you want to get the treasures, come to Dracula Duck Manor. So now we have to go back to Dracula Duck Manor. But thankfully... Well, I say thankfully, but this level is actually really confusing. So as you saw the first time, we can just access these mirrors. But we're going to be spending a lot of time going back and forth between these mirrors, unfortunately. Because they just take us back to the same place, so... Obviously the shortcut doesn't really work anymore. So now we just have to go around here and try to figure out where to go. But yeah, I'm also going to be including... Uh, so there's going to be four videos. Uh, this one... Sonic 3 and Knuckles finale, uh, Loot Crate, which I call uh, Game Grab or Game Gold, whatever I call it, and then uh, the update as to what's going on, just as like an official update, that's not like 15 seconds of me saying what's going on. So yeah, we got a lot going on. <laughs> got a lot to squeeze into like two or so hours, but I believe I can make it work. So we see this mirror we're going to jump into just to see where it takes us. I don't remember being here. Okay, yeah, this is the new thing. So here we have the uh, crate. Yeah, I'm really good at dying here. So what you're going to do is you're going to press, you're going to hold up and jump in order to like jump out of it. Yeah, they put that ledge there specifically just to annoy you. And yes, yeah, so you do take damage if your head is showing. Because why wouldn't you? That'd be way too convenient. As well as, I, I started, like, looking up, like, retro game stores in my area, just to see if there was any. And one of them came up, and I'm like, huh, I kind of remember this place being a comic book store. Did it become a retro game store? So I went there, and, uh, no, it did not become a retro game store. Someone falsely marked it as a retro game store. So, I'm like, awesome. Good thing, good thing I wasn't expecting this to be a retro game store or anything. Uh, I didn't bring, like, any, like, games or anything with me to there, thankfully. I was just like, eh, I'll go and check it out, because I really... Like, there's so many ret like... <sighs> Retro games are getting way too expensive for no good reason. Like, if any of you saw the Nintendo Direct recently, uh, they recently announced how uh, Kirby Return to Dreamland for the Wii is coming to the Nintendo Switch. And... I'm just like, okay, I mean, I kind of get it, but also why? And then they're just like... I, I saw a TikTok of someone who's like, Man, I don't want to play this Wii game on the Switch. I want to play it on the Wii. And they show that, like, the Wii game of uh, Kirby Return to Dreamland is, like, $10 more than the Switch price tag. Uh, by that, I mean, like, a regular Switch game. It's, it's, like, it's like $70 for the game on the Wii, which does not make sense to me. I'm like, okay, I guess I kind of get it a little bit, but at the same time, like, I don't know. Nintendo really needs to, like, uh, they, they need to, like, increase their, like, uh, the stuff. Like, we need the virtual console back. Either the virtual console back or to just, like, have a lot more reasons to get the expansion pass for Nintendo Switch Online. That's, like, my whole thing is, like, I understand it. Because, like, they're like, hey, look at all this stuff. Where you could just get it with the expansion pass, or you could pay $20 for it. And, like, I wish it was the same way with the expansion pass. Where, like, instead of, like, having to get the expansion pass, you could just pay $20. And, boom, you have access to the N64 games. Because I know they also have the Genesis games, but... We have the Genesis collection for that. Which is on every single thing. Like, there's no reason to do that. Is there anything up there? No? I mean, that's just a pillar, so... I know, I thought that was a... I thought that was a warp pipe, but, you know, that'd be way too uh, convenient. 
It's like the uh, the Gianni sisters, which was uh, is basically an NES ripoff of Mario Bros. And uh, Nintendo tried to sue them, but they didn't win because uh, reasons and stuff and stuff and reasons. Anyway, if this looks familiar, that's because it is. I'm sure I probably went the wrong way, but we're going to make sure that we go the right way. And speaking of right way and wrong way, I did have a poll uh, for voting as to what the next game is going to be. And uh, it looked as though uh, Yakuza, Ukulele, and Resident Evil Zero were the winners. However, um, I started playing Resident Evil Zero. It's not bad. It, it's it's all right. It's not horrible. It's good, and uh, it's just it, it's the episodes are long. They're roughly about like half an hour each in order to make like a good amount of progress. So, meh, you know, it it's not bad. It 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 just really depends because I went and did like I, I just recorded like a few episodes just to have it as backup, and I got to like episode three, and. In Resident Evil, you get ink ribbons, which are very rare to come by, and they let you save the game. And so with that, uh, I just tried to like not save the game until like I'm done with the episode. And in doing so, I got to a, a countdown sequence where I just had to like go and like do stuff, and I I just didn't finish it. And then I had to restart from where the episode started. So I'm like, okay. I'm gonna take a little break from this before I continue. I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to do. Because at this point, even I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure out where to go because I'm just so confused here. I'm just, I'm legitimately so lost. And I did not look up a guide for this. You can very easily tell I did not look up a guide for this. So I'm really trying to be like, I'm just trying to understand where I need to go. I can't go... Okay, so that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to see if I could go up there on the ledge or anything. Like we did in the first level. Or the most recent level of this episode. I guess this is like a better term. So yeah, we're just trying to see if there's any secret walls or anything that we can potentially go through. Anything like that. So, I can't imagine how much this must have, like, stumped, like, people playing this game. Like, back in, like, the 80s or 90s or whatever. Like, when they're just like, man, what do I do here? Because, like, it, it, it's confusing. It really is confusing. So here's the mirrors that we found originally. We've already been there. Let's go to the right one. Now here is a place we have not been before. Now we have a new thing. Huh. I just had to make it confusing, didn't they? And here we have the boss! Dracula Duck. And, you know, as chronically blue fashion, we have to do it with only one one health point remaining. Because that that's just a thing. We're just really good at... Yeah, so we're supposed to do, we're supposed to avoid the bats, and then... Uh, when Dracula Duck appears, we're supposed to hit him with the cane. If he's reachable. If not, then try to bounce off the bats. That's about... That's about everything that you can do here. So yeah, just really have everything finely timed down in order to not mess stuff up. But now I'm trying to think, like... Yeah, this game isn't bad, but why don't they bring this game to new consoles? Like, the newest console it got brought to is the PS3, the 360, and the Wii U, I want to say. Again, not not this game, but like the, the, re, the remade that they did. Why don't they bring that to new consoles like they did with Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game? I don't know. I... I don't know. There's... Like, I feel really bad for digital-only games. Just because, like... A lot of, like... Sometimes you see the same game... <clears throat> way too often. Like, look at Skyrim. That game is on literally everything now. Like, Doom. That game's also on everything right now. And at one point, I'm like, okay, cool. You have beaten Dracula Duck, but not me. If you want the treasure back, 
You'll have to catch me. Alright, so now we're just doing a bit of a chase here. Um, there's many games which they are, like, available on, on everything. They're literally available on everything, and I don't understand it. But there's so many games that aren't available everywhere, and I want them to be. And, like, it, it's unique. It's, it's a lose-lose situation. You're either gonna have way too much, or you're gonna have way too little. Like, you, you can't really pick and choose. Scrooge remains the richest duck in the world. Dar daring explorer Scrooge McDuck has found the five legendary treasures, making him the richest duck in the world. You're an expert treasure hunter. Hooray, Uncle Scrooge! We're glad you found the treasures. But don't forget we helped too! Right, lads, I couldn't have done it without you. I really am the richest duck in the world. End. If that was improperly paced, I apologize. But yes, the game just ends on this screen, so that, that's literally it. And then just plays the DuckTales theme song on repeat. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you all, hopefully, at the start of October. Or at the start of November. Again, I'll do a big update video just saying everything again. But thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, Scoobears.